September 9, 2021. I had no idea about. Well, um, Mr. Lukashenko sworn it's himself that he will erase my memory that I will never ever recall anything about what happened in 2003. George Bush was very upset about it, but this is detailed explanation on what happened in Belarus during 2002 and then during 2003. In 2003 I was really really lean and strong. I was not overweight. Um, it was 2003 and it was eight years down the road they would bring me. So this is something I'm gonna add here to this video here how I became known as a very dangerous man under MK Ultra and a nuclear option I demanded in 2002 against Slovenia from George Bush they kept bringing me to Belarus and uh, things did not go well for Belarus in 2002 in 2003 I no longer complied it's as I explained um, I was polite I was pleasant but because of the violence that went on in Belarus uh, I refused to go to Belarus anymore any longer now since they wouldn't listen to me uh, since they wouldn't re uh, listen to my requests when I was drugged up they deemed that I'm like an animal that you just do whatever you want to do. Uh, I did go uh, into a psychological mode to degree that, as I said, when the plane would touch Minsk, I asked the American guy, where are we? Uh, and he was said, in Belarus, in Minsk. Uh, and as I politely explained to him, asked him, reminded him basically, uh, and I told you not to bring me to Belarus anymore uh, he would just you know, like uh, go on like 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 you don't exist basically you know till eventually we came in front of the customs in front of the um, security airport security in Minsk and that's basically when I unloaded myself on them basically physically did hit good and in the right places still it was bad but more than anything it was a terror uh, Belarus KGB department that handles security measures also the airport were not used to it uh, they were never seen anything like this from definitely not from me uh, they were beating me up threatening me up for no less than eight years well, the last one, after several of what I stated repeated, I got a few of those officers on a several occasions. It became apparent that they're not going to see me anymore in Belarus. Was a Lukashenko. Lukashenko came inside of the room. It was an interrogation, like interrogation room. That was in 2003. Uh, and he was dressed in a green with a oh perfect 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 this one I saw it this this thing here like this he would walk inside of the room like this with a hat on uh, uh, Lukashenko hit me Lukashenko threatened me uh, Lukashenko I estimated very nicely that the day uh, behaved in other words aggressively toward me he was violent uh, and again this was a white room maybe just at the airport I have no idea where exactly was that and he will walk inside with two other guys 
they would bring me in there, you know. Um, <laughs> Uh, and he would walk inside basically looking at me like in a way like uh, psychologically they prepared like now you're gonna see now you're gonna see now you're gonna see what's gonna happen now you're gonna see what's gonna happen and I was like oh, okay and I sit I sit inside of that room just basically in a same form in a same fashion like they set me at the Wacken Hut Corporation um, in 2000 and reprimanded me reprimanded me for the stuff I had absolutely nothing to do with it forced me to sign with it uh, the reprimands or be jobless new in the US as I was I lied from all the co-workers at the wagon hut to sign to just go and sign brainwashed basically to sign I signed uh, and the next thing you see I lost the job it was the same the same the same kind of I felt approach interrogation drugged up brought sit uh, and well Lukashenko gets in with this hat uh, dressed in green I had a feeling almost like it, it almost looks some kind of immigration office or something like that you know uh, it really was I look at him and I recognize it was a guy who caused me a lot a lot of pain and suffering that's all I need at that moment when they said now you're gonna see now you're gonna see so the only thing I did was I uh, just like I'm looking at you right now let him sit right in front of me and he did sit in front of me very closely actually right at the opposite end of the table you know and uh, once he did this uh, I don't think he even started to talk I didn't actually wait for him to talk I just nicely positioned myself and then the only thing I did was I unloaded myself on him and it was just a barrage of this that follow on Lukashenko and it was fucking bad so bad that the guys that were with him inside the room couldn't stop it <laughs> it was a fucking mess man it was a, such a fucking mess that from the day from that day on the excursions to Belarus ended that was in 2003 and I was not gonna let him get away from my hands from that fucking room I wanted to fucking get him I want to fucking kill him inside of the room said now you're gonna see now you're gonna see this is basically 2003 in Belarus it was so fucking bad it was a, such a terror Lukashenko would not forget he would not forget the day what happened to him when he walked with the two KGBs inside the room in front of me to threaten me best about it was the news did came out but not from Lukashenko <laughs> it came out from a KGB associate of Lukashenko the Americans uh, couldn't understand what exactly happened and the news did leak out on the side someone one of those KGBs leaked the news outside about what happened uh, Lukashenko didn't want to know anything about it then the next step that happened was a request for the video they wanted to see the video Lukashenko however would not allow the video to go out however there were people like Benjamin and Netanyahu there were people like of course George Bush a Charles a British uh, they got a hold of definitely they all saw the video because man the congratulations that followed up on me from all these people that they couldn't believe about what happened uh, it, it was just everybody was just amused amazed they couldn't believe this that something like this has happened uh, but 
Luca Schenker told me that he's gonna destroy me for that. Uh, psychologically, that he's gonna wipe me out. No longer would bring me to Belarus, but he would have Sergey come here and do a lot, a lot, a lot of bad, very, very bad stuff. Just as instructed, according to Lukashenko, that's when a play with a poison uh, became so close that a guy was actually used to evaluate stores, uh, local store supply, all kinds of stuff that w they would push me. Uh, upon return from Poland, if hopefully I would ever make it even through. I think Mike Tyson did go to Poland when he was at age, I don't know, 33 or something like this. And uh, the job, I did it for three months, uh, which is a job that will leave you crippled maybe in two weeks, uh, permanently, I mean. I think he did one only for one week. That's all that was really, really weak. Weak is weak. Uh, wicked, too. Wicked. Uh, I did it for three months. Other big boys, say Dwayne Johnson, um, they did like occasionally being video recorded. video about what happened in Belarus I don't know whether anybody obtained one but it was a George Bush <laughs> you wouldn't believe this shit it was a George Bush so upset with me for what I did he fucking chided me he fucking reprimanded me dude he tortured me he used me as a torture bait literally subjecting me to torture fucking brought me to the russia to the belarus to eastern europe for torture a u.s citizen he fucking reprimanded me for that and also promised he would destroy me also for that reason definitely i am not Definitely, I am not this guy here, which the FBI's, um, they claim that this is what I am going to be, that, that I will be like this, that that's what I'm going to become, this, this, that that's how I will be. It's, it's, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, fair, famous for killing American President Kennedy. Um, so, a God Almighty Lord, man, it appears as if he would retaliate against several American presidents, maybe for Lee Oswald Harvey through me, literally. It, it appears to me as if he would send me right to the US to demolute them, to destroy them basically. Because I have proven beyond any doubts that I am the best America ever had when compared to the worst America ever had. And that's seated in the White House for the last 27 years. From Clinton, Bush, Obama, Trump, Biden, I am the best America ever had, the best ever, and it's the worst that sit inside the White House for 27 years. Lukashenko, boy, boy, um, he will never ever forget what happened that day. The KGB is in Belarus will never forget the psychological pressure they exercise on me. Now you're gonna see, now you're gonna see. Oh, how I waited for the moment, for the moment to come. 
I don't know how much I beat him up. I have no idea how much I beat him up. I know that they couldn't stop me. It was not enough to other guys inside. Uh, but I know it was fucking bad. It was really bad. I actually can tell you that under MK Ultra, not necessary. Uh, that person would not be uh, strong. It appears to me that it's more a matter of uh, determination under MK Ultra. That when you determine that you will do something, uh, that you can just as much as you can pull the physical strength, power, and ability uh, to hit, hurt, as if you would in real time. That was it for the Belarus. That was 2003. Mm. All right. That's all I wanted to do for today, September the 9th, 2021. It's really, really important for me to document that. It really matters not whether those videos exist or not. Of all the presidents, including Angela Merkel, uh, who disrespected me. And uh, when she learned about what I did, when the Germans learn about what I did, uh, they wouldn't uh, treat me anymore like a dummy, like a dumbo. Uh, they all understood that uh, there can be a really, really fine line with me at a certain moment, that if we don't understand each other, there can be a real, real, real disagreement. I want to remind you of that moment. As much as Lukashenko had impenetrable reputation in respect to his MK Ultra uh, adventures, uh, that's what everybody claimed that this man, nobody ever even dared to think about whomever they have subjected also to MK Ultra. Uh, that he was just that he had a record of mentally breaking anybody under MK Ultra. Uh, well, this is what I was taught. This, this was just the first time, and to him, this was like a big thing. Uh, I want to say, I want to remind, because I was told it's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be like on the internet, you're going to see people. Uh, giggling like I'd say since this is this one is about Harry uh, and Harry is a I don't know a CEO advisor or I have no idea about what uh, for mental he knows a lot about the mental he's an expert on a mental um, this is a expert on mental and so I was thinking since he's an expert on mental uh, that this is this is all good this is this is all good this kind of stuff Harry Long told me that's when he will want to make dad uh, laugh uh, and very and the only thing they're gonna do is something like this give him like that kind of stuff and that's gonna remind to laugh and you have a bunch of this wealthy people involved in MK Ultra for whom I was told the same thing you know that kind of stuff well you know this here this here is a song from David Coverdale you can see it it's called last note of freedom hey you can go ahead and you can play yourself this song this was since 99, about four years prior to my departure to the U.S. is when this song was released. And uh, as Harry claimed uh, 
is a booster rhymes fired up that's actually the song that was given to booster rhymes as an assignment and it's the harry that wanted this song uh, to be seen as his anthem um he had a tremendous talking about the harry he had a tremendous tremendous problem with this song here a last note of freedom which i played ever since its release and uh, it's something that was driving prince andrew what he was reprimanded they reprimanded him uh, he started to uh, demonstrate uh, because of this song uh, mental issues they got him demonstrating like according to mm, he had a lot of i think personally he had a lot of moments strange moments but uh, the song that he would always find in my computer everywhere because that's what he loved to browse what on the computer you have and go back and forth see everything just did not go to him uh well he really hated that song and uh they chided him as having a mental problems already that much about that <laughs> that kind of stuff no, i'm fine i'm cool i feel good in my skin uh lukashenko seems like he was not the only one uh that got himself under the threats here uh it was other people too that occasionally suffered william prince william in fact congratulated me for that yeah he said that is really really commanding he tried with him and he congratulated me he said that's that's really commanding that's you won in this case you won in this case so it was more people that suffered uh, all kinds of uh, awkward moment torturing uh, a person uh, in front of them now oh, that's that's all i wanted to stress for this video well thanks for watching it makes me feel good to release this video i don't know probably even so you have no absolutely no conscience whatsoever just to remind you what the fuck you were doing was terribly terribly wrong with stuff like this i remember this stuff i remember this stuff very very well i gave you a very good description of what happened in belarus i gave you a very good idea about it zach give you complete details about how it all ended in a belarus and what did this serial killer uh proceed uh with where did this whole thing took him uh what this uncontrollable rage uh hunger for earth hitting you know in my opinion what the fuck he was doing how far this whole thing brought him so for me to say not only him but all the u.s presidents hmm. i wonder what's gonna be a day uh for you tomorrow like for you you know because and the world is changing now now the world is changing now the world is shaving into a different picture it's a different picture about these democracies uh,
thanks for watching this video I hope you feel good too just like I do till next time walked inside of the room like always staring at me acted like angry uh, and I already before that they all, uh, set my mind on what I'm gonna do and when I saw this guy who hurt me so many times before I felt I am fortunate uh, I felt like it was like a lottery I got that day uh, truly the only thing I was I did was I set my legs properly so that when he comes close to me that you know once I grab him real fast and like somebody who said never let you go uh, once he sat in front of me it was a moment that happened uh, the two KGBs with him also got beaten up they tried to stop I bit both of them I had beaten up physically both of them several minutes went by literally doors opened it was other they ran inside so this shit must have been really bad it must have been really bad I would love to see that video what happened because that was that was a real one that was a video I would want to see that's the one I would love to see he got around by uh, using Sergey uh, and another thing was it, it was be a Russians involved in MK Ultra that will be coming here to Slovenia uh, to visit which would not communicate with me uh, they always would communicate with whoever was next to me uh, but claimed they were prohibited from talking with me so therefore they would not engage with me uh, verbally anymore uh, they would always however act politely they will always act politely and um, they would also cite me that I don't like the Belarus and stuff like this so this they would start to build like uh, you know like a karma you know like you you know you you don't like but you don't like us and this and that you know that's that's how he got around with it and this shit went on for like at least whew, I don't know maybe like this they were doing to me like this maybe three years or something like that uh, to open enough uh, window curiosity want to communicate uh, so that I would basically open myself again uh, to idea to communicate with the Russians with the Belarus and so on this is how exactly but in particularly psychological methods he used to get back on picture never however ever since uh, would he try <laughs> something that was uh, a complete irregular for him before like uh, abuse uh, psychological abuse and stuff that kind of stuff terror and stuff like this never never it would never ever cross uh, mind to him again it was a completely different situation uh, ever since yep that's exactly how that was done